Jackrabbit.
Jackrabbit.
Бенекс. Он, он американец. О, хелло, Бенекс! Он американ. Он тебя, да. Он американ. Only. Йоу. Ты стримишь сейчас? Нет. I yes I'm streaming now. Um, uh, I I will not uh, I will not talk that much. I will mostly just listen. I can. Как сказать слушают? Как сказать слушают? Listen. Ah, pe people listen us. You listen us. Not, not listen. Not listen. Not. <laughs> 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 Скажи, передай привет ты на стриме, ты чё? Так не он Бенек стримит. О, нифига. Hello. This is Russian bookmakers. Что-то как это сказать так. Russian danger people. Be careful. Свалит, свалит отсюда. А вот, короче, и первая часть он доделает. Как следует прям. Прям вообще, что топчиком будет. Эвакуация будет. Мне для ботов доделать анимации. Демка выйдет, тогда мне нужно будет просто для оружия сделать анимацию. Что он там показывает? А, да, вот. Он, кстати, использует ENB шейдер или как-то так. Да. Решейд. Тихо, подождите, я спрошу. Linux, you making mod? Нет. Он как он какой-то сингловый эти карты делает. А что, Глейвок? Глейвок нам подожди.
Hemos soñado. Estamos. Por. <laughs> See, yeah, it's working. Yeah, I think the yeah the audio is working. So yeah, this um, this kind of work. I I want to set like um, an event here, and I want the light to be lower. Yeah, the, the the physics is a bit like one key, huh? but it's working.
you manage a team, you have to.
Penny. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. So you're streaming? Yeah, I see you're streaming. Yep. Yeah, I'm streaming a bit. Hmm. Nice. I'm doing something here. I'm finishing this architecture brutalist. Yeah, like I just posed the, I posed those picture and then you just started a, a project on it all, like right away. Yeah, immediately because uh, I, I like you know why. Uh, you see that architecture, you know, brutalist is extremely presented here in Eastern Europe, you know why? Oh really? You I, know I, yeah. did, I didn't uh, know. Yeah, you see, I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina and back to, during the Cold War, Bosnia was a communist country, you know? And communists used to make those buildings uh, similar to that, just concrete and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. For example, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like my entire hometown city, which is, I know it, it's really old. Uh, it's the buildings is really from concrete, you know, most of it, and it's you know that brutal look I have. Uh, most of them, because all of those buildings are built, you know, back. 30, 40 years ago, you know, when Cold War was still up and, you know. Yeah, I see. I see. That's interesting. Um, and yeah, br mm. Brutalist um, architecture is mostly concrete and uh, it's all like yes. block in square, so... Uh... Yes, yes. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna send you a picture, hold on. For, for example, Let me just find one photo. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, copy. You know, I'm gonna send you a picture right now in private here. See, ah, yes, yeah, I see. Yeah, and this building is the tallest building here in my hometown. And, and back in the time when it was built, it was the highest building, the tallest building in this part of Europe, you know. Uh, which part? Uh, Balkans. Hmm. Oh, it um, it looks uh, it looks weird a bit. Like it's all um, it's all bunched together. Yeah, yeah. And what actually, that's uh, yeah, that's few buildings built in one building. You know. Yep. And it has this look. You know, it, it's it's really interesting. And what is what it is like apartments? Yeah, it's apartments. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And this is, you know, type of br brutalist look. Yep. Yeah, it's really um, concrete. It, it, it's not like... Um, it's not the most beautiful thing, but it, it works well with uh, what the fear is doing, so... Uh. Uh, yes, yes, I see, because fear really has a lot of uh, brutalist look. Especially in that city part, you know, in Auburn district. Yeah, and um, the beginning also, like all the industrial... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and beginning, beginning to. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. So we, you finally figure what the, um, like the weird blue color is. Uh, so Jeff, Jeff yeah. know, Jeff knows as always. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I asked him. I, I asked him, and he told me. Uh, the thing is that uh, this blue 
lines here is uh, when you want to do something with, that, with this polygon and you have a bunch of polygons you know, the, the map is really big you can color this polygon you know so you can find it easier here in these reports oh, okay yeah so, i don't think i will use it but maybe at some point uh, uh well uh, i use it just once but I, I turned it on accidentally, you know, and I had no idea what have I done. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, what is it? Is a con control plus um, M, I think. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's you know when you add this uh, hotkeys, you, you know, above the viewport, you know, this hotkeys for save, for load world, you know, this for adding an object, you have this part for texture, you know, apply color and apply material, you know, when you suck on material, you can apply ma material, you know, regular, and then you have apply color, when you press, you know, polygon and apply color, it will change to blue instead of white. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I will use it that much because I have already so much like rooms, so it will just look like rainbow <laughs> if I do this. Yeah, <laughs> it already I mean, it already looks like rainbow. Yeah, I only have two polygons colored here in blue. One I colored accidentally, and second to test what Jeff said. <laughs> okay. Ah oh, yes. Yeah, I know when you create like a brush, it will have like a random color to it. Mm. But I don't. It, it does it. Um, does this has, uh, have to do something with it, or no? No, no, no. Uh, that's that's other thing. This is only for viewports, you know. Because in viewport, you know, the brush lines are white, and you color it to blue, to can see them easily, you know, in the bunch of white. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it would be nice if um, the prefabs have a different color, maybe. Uh, because the prefabs, they appear white also. But that, that, but then uh, the, then you can just like color it inside the prefab, maybe? Uh, actually, the uh, prefabs, yeah, they do have white colors, but... Sometimes you can see some other colors. For example, I have this window here, and you know, the windows is white, but there's also a red lines around it, you know, and the door is uh, just like that and stuff. Ah, uh, yes, but um, there's also like the, the bonding box of it, which is red. I... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, this can be useful for prefabs because uh, I'm guessing if you change the wireframe color inside the prefab, they will all change. Uh, to that color, so you can like make your um, lights uh, yellow, or in your like this like dangerous uh, destructive stuff, you can make it red, maybe. Maybe. If you have extra uh, time, if you have extra time for it, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm doing something here. I have applied. You know, the sky and directional light, and I have attached volumetric light to it, and it looks fine here. You oh, know, I, like I just oh, send uh, I just send a picture with uh, like more vol volumetric light. Which I need to fix because Yeah, the, I have a problem myself. Like um, everything volumetric uh, will uh, will create some glitch with the um, transparent object. I don't know if you have this. Trans like, for example, glass or something uh, like that. No, gla glass, glass. Uh, we we weirdly enough, the glass are uh, solid and not transparent. Uh. And. Um, yeah, the, the glasses are a solid uh, material, but yeah, I know it's weird, but it's it's true. Like it's a solid shader, the glass, um, so it's uh, it's not transparent. Um, but uh, transparent stuff like uh, graffiti, uh, they will appear like sometimes they will appear on top of the the volumetric, and it looks bad. <laughs> 
Maybe Jeff knows. Maybe he don't know. Well, uh, Je Jeff knows everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Mo most of the thing, you cannot know everything. Yeah, uh, I have sent you a photo of yeah. magic light here. Yeah, um, yeah. The thing is, like, when you use um, only one big light, the the resolution will be like share. Like the resolution of the volumetric is is less good when it's just one big light, uh, because it's big. Yeah. So sometimes, so, sometimes I try to use like more than one light just to share, like split the resolution and have like better resolution. Uh, yeah, and you can uh, change its settings so every like light, light can be different, you know. Oh you, yeah, you can just make it like less apparent. Yeah. Because uh, the resolution uh, is uh, hard coded, I'm sure. Like it must be inside the engine. Uh, there's like a, a sample number, and it's hard coded. I think. Same thing for like the soft shadow. Like the soft shadow, it's it's like multiple art shadow together, and I'm I, I'm guessing there's like a value somewhere you can change to decide how much. Of it, you can uh, you can get, but that's like uh, in the art coded inside engine. Oh, so your light is green, I think, a oh, blue green, and you have you have some leak. Uh, it's actually, you know, uh, well, I, I have used the DAM, you know, uh, Skybox DAM and, oh fuck, oh, hold on, let me just fix something. Is it, uh, is it, is it directional? Yeah, it, it's directional. Okay, uh, I have, I have so much pro, I have so much issue with directional. I, I like them, but. Sometimes you need to like put it inside the room because of the, because it doesn't it doesn't cast light. Uh, they do cast light. Yeah, but <laughs> you just need to set them properly. Yeah, I don't know why. I have some like some of them in my map don't work, and some some will work. And I have even like one of them that cast light uh, half of the light, cast light, and half of it doesn't cast light. And I, I don't know why, so I just like put it inside the room and it works. But then I need to have an another light to make the volumetric, because the volumetric is inside the room, so it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end, at the end, I get it, I get it to work, uh, so it's okay. It's just that I need two lights sometimes. So here I have a um, when you have like window. Uh, uh, here I have a problem in my map. I need um, to set a, a near Z because you see like the light start from a point, and you want it to fit with the size of the window, like the volumetric of it. You want it to fit with the window, so I need to set uh, a near Z. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a picture what uh, what I mean. Uh, just play, just play. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm just fix something. I have one issue here. Uh, not that, not that, that, not that, that. Yeah, that that sh should be it. Uh-huh. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh
<laughs> yeah, the walls are under 45 degrees angle. Yeah, I never I never did that. I like all my walls are 45 degrees. <laughs> And to be honest, they look good. Oh yeah, it will. Yeah, it will work. I'm just uh, really the. I'm. I'm really like uh, picky with that. I try to have everything like uh, really um, tight. Uh, but at some point, I will have walls uh, under 45 or above 45. Like see see like this wall is forty five. <laughs> uh, I'm not watching stream if, if you're showing me that. I'm uh, doing here. No no it's a it's a picture. Picture. Hold yeah. on. Oh yeah I see. Yeah that that's forty five. And like uh, it, 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 yeah. it's it's SPA rise. Yeah of course yeah. Yeah, if I'm doing uh, another map, it will be like for a tutorial, not uh... Yeah, if I'm doing another map, it will be a small uh, map for a tutorial. Um, yeah. But I try to just like work on uh, on one thing, even if sometime you want to work on uh, like another map, maybe. But I, I'm I'm more I'm more of a kind to work on one one thing. Uh, but I know people uh, don't like that. And some people prefer to work on, on different small things. But also, even if you work on one map, you work on different small parts of the same map. So. <laughs> well, to be honest, <laughs> I'm working on everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was on vacation, so I did. I didn't really work on it. But you oh, see, yeah, yeah see you see the volume. You see the volumetric light I have on the picture. It's it doesn't fit the window, so I need like to. Um, you need to expand it, you know. Yeah, I can like put it uh, on uh, be behind it, um, but I'm actually using. Um, like a texture inside the the light, so I don't want to have uh, the geometric shadow in it. So what I will do is I will set um, a far Z, and it will like cut the start of it into a rectangle. Uh -huh. And then I will just like match the rectangle. I will match the rectangle with like the, the window because this light is uh, this light is spe uh, specifically this light has uh, a texture in it and the texture is just a square with uh, soft borders and it looks pretty good Add another direction light here. Add object light directional. Okay. Kaput. Let's rotate it a bit. Anyway, in this photo you have sent here in Fear Chat at Litfac, and you see. Benny. Yep. Uh, yeah, which one? 
uh, this photo you have sent here at fear chat you know it is a little facts error uh, this st stairway staircase you know uh, this light on the player right you know uh, which light is this uh, it's the light I'm working on that I just showed you yeah I see it has a little magic so it's this light you know from this photo you have sent oh yeah, yeah it's, it is yeah, it's the same light, yeah. Uh, and uh, can you just take me a picture of volumetric settings you have here? Ah, yes, I'm always using, I'm mostly always using those settings because they are really, yeah. um, uh, really uh, not, not strong. Uh, yeah, uh, but can you send me a picture of your volumetric settings here? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Wait, wait a bit. Mm, okay. I, uh, at the beginning, I I was uh, playing with the sitting uh, a lot, but now I'm always I'm always uh, in those numbers. Yeah, so this is the sky, and the sky is really orange uh, in the, this map in general. Uh, it's not blue, but uh, it's like it's like a sun sunrise sunset. But it's a really um, it's like I need to make it more close to the night um, color. But mm -hmm. I, I chose or I chose orange because it, it really like uh, it really contrasts with the other light color. So those are the settings. Mm -hmm. No, zero two zero five one one point nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the far Z. I think it it, it were um, like. The far Z is, is when the light will stop uh, uh, casting, uh, so I, I always set it really high. Mm. And the volumetric depth is also set pretty high because this basically will uh, uh, make the volume uh, dimmer, like less visible. Uh, so, and I don't want it to be like really, really visible. I want it to be uh, really soft and. Not 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 visible that much. Yeah. To be nice to see. Yeah. And you don't need uh, you don't need to uh, put a volumetric texture for your scene. Uh. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Cell phone.
back. Uh, anyway, another. I have another question. Oh yes. Uh, this light you have used here. Uh, this is not direction light, right? No, this is spotlight. Spotlight, I see. You, uh, uh, this is wrong. Oh. Yeah, you don't need to use spotlight for your scene, I think. Um, like, the, the, my, um, the light I'm using is in a really small area, so, uh, the spotlight works. Uh -huh. It's, um, like, uh, the directional light, it was not. To give you a um, like a spread, I, it will be all uh, the, uh, all parallel uh, uh, light. Um, so it, it it's it's similar to a sun. But uh, since uh, since I'm in a small area, I don't I don't really uh, like a spotlight will uh, will, uh, will not spread that much. So uh, it works. Yeah, yeah, as it um, points the light only in one direction. Yeah, it's, it's for example, if you want to, uh, like, if you have a long hallway with a lot of window, uh, and you put a spotlight, it would be hard, like, to to have the window cast a proper shadow, uh, because it, like the middle window would be correct, but all the other window would like uh, slowly go uh, on with an angle on the side. Because you have like um, the middle of the spotlight, it's like it's a, a straight line, and then like it's a cone shape. So the middle is straight, and then when you go on the side, the the light the light uh, start to be like an angle. So uh, it will look a bit weird if uh, you have a a lot of windows.
Yeah, you will need you will need a lot of for your scene. You will need a lot of uh, fill, fill light. Uh huh. And uh, you need a um, you need a sunlight and you need a kind of a skylight. So I think you can. Uh, but I think like this light will need to be yellow a bit, uh, like your uh, uh, your volumetric light. And then you can just uh, start to add some fill lights. Uh, which can be like a bit more blue, I think. Yeah, I, I sent you a, um, a video uh, which uh, is uh, doing... Uh, the, the guy is faking some uh, GI with, uh, with other lights. Uh, uh, this video in the private. Uh, Play yes. canvas, fake GI. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's this this engine is uh, is a bit like uh, Unity or Unreal, I think. It's um, it's another like uh, uh, it, it's not it's an engine some some kind of engine that is uh, less popular than Unity or Unreal. It's called like uh, Play Canvas. <laughs> uh -huh. So like it's a bootleg uh, <laughs> on Unity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But it's it's the same thing in theory. It's uh, like in this in this all the lights are dynamic and there is no GI. So the guy uh, has a, like one uh, the, one main light, which is the sun, which is like orange at the beginning, and then he add uh, uh -huh. he, he add a point light, which is blue, and then it, it simulate the the sky skylight, and then it add uh, some more uh, light uh, in between the cubes. In between the cubes, so uh, it fake it fake the bouncing of the, the sun in between the cubes. Well, damn. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to uh, to add a lot of fill lights. And I think uh, uh, J Jeff uh, already told you that. Yeah, you need a lot of fill lights. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff is smart. Yeah. Be like, be like Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know one thing. I know that uh, if you use uh, ambient light, it will look like shit. So uh, this is what I know. <laughs> Let me yeah. check. Let me check my uh, ambient light here, just for jizzle. Uh, oh, okay. So my ambient light is at uh, five red, six green, and eight blue. <laughs> so that that's really close to black. Mm. Here, t take a look at this picture. Who's that man? Well, that's fine, man. <laughs> mine, mine is invisible when I place it. I guess it's only in the prefab. Yeah, it's, it's prefab. The player does that, that darn all mate. Yeah, I have it, and uh, in game it's invisible, which is uh, really scary because you only see the shadow of it. Oh, in your picture, you, you we don't see the um, the little uh, bear, uh, the little um, like we only see a big square, and we should see like the the bar of the windows.
Plum, you need to, to, to make the bar happy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I maybe this prefab has the some ge geometry uh, that are not casting shadow. Windows. Yeah. Yeah, we don't see the windows shadows on the floor. Yeah, because uh, the prefabs in these windows is said to be clip light. Yeah, you no. mean you mean no clip light? Yeah, no clip light. Yeah, but you need to change it because no clip light is bad. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's good for something, some stuff. But... Like it will look uh, better if you if there are shadows. Mm -hmm. I think I do have uh, my version of this window that I made for that big hallway in Rainy Street map. You know, because this window doesn't have shadows, like, like I said, it's script I set to off and no group. So uh, I copied this window and then put clip light on and added a group so I think I, I eat this window hold on just see yeah it's this it's this window
glass doesn't emit shadows, right? No, not the glass. Painted glass do. Um, uh, I don't. I um, there's an option for uh, translucent uh, light color. I don't know how it works. Um, normally, I just set my glass to uh, cast no shadow. Mm -hmm. But in in each light, there's like um, translucent color uh, for the for each light, and I don't know what it is. Maybe Jeff knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> But do, uh, do you know what uh, I mean? With uh, mm. I just select just select uh, one light um, and check uh, the colors. There's a light colors and there's a light colors, specular co specular color, and there's translucent color. And it's a, a color used to modulate the light color for translucent light approximation. And I don't know uh, what it is exactly. But it has to do with transparent stuff, so, uh, so maybe there's maybe the engine can support uh, transparent light, but uh, I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I know I'm, I'm gonna ask him. Anyway, I fixed it. I have fixed the shadows, and this is how it looks now. From very thin angle, I took a photo and now it's uploading. Okay, it's done. I like I like it when my texture fit perfect into the walls. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Just need to like work in meter and like round number, and it's okay. Recently, I tried to import the uh, like uh, object with a lot of triangles, and there's one thing that you can do, which is a bit funny, is when you split the brush, and the object has a lot of triangle, it take it creates a lot of brush. <laughs> I, each triangle is a brush. It's a brush. Yeah, it's <laughs> independent. Yeah, I, it takes some times like to uh, to split it. And it creates uh, like thousand and thousand of brushes, <laughs> hmm. because I there's no way I yeah there's no way you can select uh, a polygon and you d you can detach them. You need to split the the thing. So what I do is like I I split the whole object and then you select the 
you select the triangle you want together and you, jo you join them and you can basically uh, create like new like new uh, object So yeah, with the, um, the shadow it, it looks much better. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's a way to have like the, 
the dirty window casts uh, uh, ca- uh, cast, uh, block more light. But uh, uh, m- maybe some dots on the ground uh, or something like that. Yeah, maybe there's a way for that. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you can do it with a texture, but uh, if you do it with a texture, you need a custom texture for it. So, for for like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take a texture of the window, you know, of dirty window, you know, and make another texture, you know, uh, with uh, dots and stuff on the. Same. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, I mean uh, a light, a light texture. But uh, nor- normally, I try to avoid doing it for uh, for many specific uh, specific uh, uh, setup. So I'm trying to use like generic one more. Mm. But uh, maybe maybe there's something to do with the uh, translucent light. But I don't know. Uh, I never tried it. And I know in the base game uh, the dirty window, uh, like it looks like that in the base game too. Like what you have here, that that it how oh, it, it looks in the base game, or well, most of the time. Hello, I, I somehow like entered the, the chat of the, the Russian people by accident. <laughs> hmm. I wanted to click on the one guy to see what he was streaming, and I just entered the chat. <laughs> I assume you went here to complete edition. Oh, I, 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 I talked with them a bit later, and uh, one of them can speak English a bit. <laughs> Well, but yes, but not fluent English. Yeah. Like, like a uh, few days ago, I was here with them, you know, with developers with, from Complete Edition, and the leader was, You see this model? Anim, bad, bad anim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they didn't understand what I was saying <laughs> most of the time. Uh, like a caveman. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then I, I told them I, I already speak French, English, and a bit of Spanish, and that that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, one thing that happens sometimes. I have brushes that I cannot select, and I don't know why. I, I, I will literally restart the team. Does it happen to you? Sometimes you, I cannot select a brush. Yes, yes, it happens. Uh, so I go to, so I go to node, node three, and I select in there. 
yeah, I'm just like selecting everything. <laughs> but uh, I have so much shit, so. Oh my god. Yeah, I was trying like to work on the map a bit uh, on my laptop, and <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> so I didn't uh, do a lot. <laughs> Like, it was, uh, my laptop is like, a scary. Uh, yeah, it, it's a really old laptop. I, I cannot do 3ds Max on it, <laughs> so... Uh. I, I can do, like, world, I can do, like, did it, uh, where did it, world did it on it, uh, if, if only I have one or two rooms visible, <laughs> but if I have, if I have, like, more than that, it's, like, too much. Wow, why did you mute you, Mick? Oh. Oh, 
I was talking to my father. Oh, thank you. I have sent you another picture with it. Yeah, it's cool. The fa the the famous uh, wooden chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not only for you, I'm using it myself. <laughs> <laughs> there, this there's is a from... Uh, this, this is from that halfway sequence, you know, man. <laughs> when when uh, Alma throws a chair to you, like, hey, sorry, have a seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alma, Alma is like, if I have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's not even. It's not even like. Um, it doesn't even like go to the side a bit. It goes directly to the player. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, player, it's gonna be scary. Go take a seat. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, to leave. Uh, I will like go uh, to groceries. Uh, grocery. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will be back uh, later. Okay, if you want to chat, just send me a message. Ah uh, yes. I try to not be too late. Uh, uh, which hour is your? I think it's your at uh, like. Uh, it must be like uh, 8 p.m. where you are, right? It's 9. 9 oh, p.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we'll see. Otherwise, we'll go like three, uh, for the weekend. Okay, 